So you wanna be a master of Pokemon? Do you have the skills to be number one? I wanna take the ultimate step, find the courage to be bold. Pokemon. To risk it all and not forget the lessons that I hold. I wanna go where no one's been, far beyond the crowd. Pokemon. Yeah, learn the way to take command. Welcome back everyone to Pokemon Yellow. Uh, yeah, I got my team healed up, and now it's time to go back to this, or go to this gym. Now this gym is actually one of my favorites, because mostly what it is is trivia. Pokemon quiz. Get it right and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong and face the trainer walking away. Okay, Caterpie evolves into Butterfree. Now, I have no clue what it means by this. If it means, like, evolves directly into it, or evolves into it eventually. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes, because I can battle the person and beat him to death anyways. And apparently they say yes. Apparently, uh, if it evolves into it at all, it evolves into it. So that one does nothing. Uh... Nine certified Pokemon League badges? No. According to Gary Frickin' Oak, there are ten. I don't know why I called them that, but that's why everyone calls them that. Or other things. Uh, Poliwag evolves three times. Now, according to this game, no, but it actually does. Because actually, it evolves Poliwhirl. Polyrath and Polycoat. It can evolve into Poly Rural, uh, Poly Whirl, and evolve into Polyrath or Polycoat. Technically, it probably would evolve three times, because it can evolve into three different things. But in this game, it's no. Are Thunder Moves effective against Ground Element type Pokemon? Uh, no, they are not. But they are effective against rock, just not that effective. Pokemon quiz, yeah. Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. That is completely true because they have move sets available and also items. Uh, I think also what affects it is a uh, what was it? The uh, nature of the Pokemon. Uh, TM28 contains Tombstoner. Okay, I wish that that happened. I, I would love to have that move. I have no clue what it does, but Tombstoner, that would be amazing. But it does not exist. It will probably never exist. I wish it would. And here we are to Blaine already. I wish we could just answer another trivia question to beat him. But it's, they're gonna make it ten times harder for us, and try, it, and we have to attempt to battle it. Uh, I'm actually gonna start out with Inferno because I don't want to have a uh, my Water type out there and it die. Yeah, yeah. Level 48 nine tells all these dig it's super effective. Dig again. Uh, it's confused, so I'm actually going to go out in the cooler and use Surf. See, Surf doesn't do too much damage. Arcanine, which is like really, really dangerous to me right now. I'll send out Volts. I don't know why. Uh, use a Hyper Potion. A cooler. Volts fainted. I'll send back out Char or Inferno, I guess it's the same now. Okay, uh, Dig didn't do much. So I'm gonna go for earth Earthquake a couple times. Yeah. So we beat another gym leader. And last, we now have Blastoise. I kinda sped that, sped that up way too much. Uh, and he gave us the team for Fire Blast. Now, Fire Blast, I have no clue what the stats on it are. Uh, I know 
it's really bad for missing, but in this generation, I have no clue. So I'm actually going to teach it to my Inferno. Just because if it's that bad of a move, I can always uh, replace it with Flamethrower later, so I'm going to get rid of Seismic Toss and teach Fire Blast. And that's basically how you get through all that without having to battle anyone really. Except for the gym later. And if you have one water type, it's simple. Also, uh, if you have Charizard, if it knows Dig and Earth, Dig or Earthquake, ground type moves of all kinds work really well on fire types. Unless it's like Moltres or something. So I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, one bit bad remaining. So this is Omega Aaron signing off. Sneasley. Or not. Now. Technical difficulties. You could laugh at this or something. Well. Yes, this is Omega.